you want to be an entrepreneur full-time, profitable, you're ready to quit your job and make your side thing your main thing, then you definitely want to watch this video. full-time profitable you're ready to quit your job and make your side thing your main thing then you definitely want to watch this video because before you quit your job you really want to see if you're even cut out for entrepreneurship are you going to be able to handle the lows now most of us feel like we could definitely handle the high you know the blessings all of the increase that comes with entrepreneurship but there's an ugly side that we don't often hear about and so today I'm going to pull back the curtain and share with you um, some footage of some of my low points as an entrepreneur and also give you some tips on how you can bounce back things that have helped me to stay on the journey until I got to, you know what I'm saying, the space that I'm in now. It's not all beautiful. And I don't say that to discourage you. I say that because nothing knocks you off your feet like a sucker punch, like a hit that you didn't see coming. And I want you to be prepared because one, you were made for this. Two, you have skills and gifting. And this is the thing that is completely going to change your life and the lives of generations that come after you. Real talk. But I want you to be prepared because I think a lack of preparation is what really keeps people from succeeding. So come with me. As we take a little trip down memory lane and go ahead and get your tissues because there's plenty of crying that happens. All right. Let's crossed for clear weather. Thank you. Are you looking to better your life, but you need a little extra help? We all do. Well, you might just need some courage. Good news. We've actually got a, cur a courage coach with us this morning to help us out. Thanks for joining us. This is probably what you imagine entrepreneurship to be like like oh my gosh i'm gonna do these great things i'm gonna be on tv i'm gonna be famous i'm gonna make six figures i don't know but this is certainly what is portrayed when we look at social media and instagram and it's not that these things aren't real obviously you can see i was on good day charlotte that's a real thing but i can guarantee you that it did not start here and truth be told this isn't even the highlight of my entrepreneurship um, journey. This show, Being on Good Day Charlotte, was amazing. I was super excited. It was an awesome, an awesome honor to be there, but it didn't make me any money. <laughs> and I'm not in business. I didn't go into business so that I could be on TV. Um, I went into business so I could be on TV and make money, right, for both of those things. So this ain't it right here. Let me show you how it really starts. First of all, you don't always get invited. Uh, you can wait and wait, but the truth is you don't need to wait. You need to create your own space. Don't wait to get invited. Create your own space. Because once you do that, you will start to get invited. And it may not be to the most posh places that you want to be invited to, but do not despise small beginnings. It's still a great opportunity for you to show up and show out no matter what the venue is. Talk is cheap, so cheap. We can stand back and we can talk to them about the greatness that they have in them, about their ability to do better and be better, but we have to give them more than that. We have to lead by example, we have to show them. That is why I love Girls Who Run Tour and I love the founder Nicole, because she understands that it's an experience that will change. So I looked at my bank account, which I showed you guys. Then I just keep thinking like, I just keep thinking that I made the wrong decision or I keep saying, did I make the right decision? It doesn't really feel like the right decision. To pay bills that have to be paid, like my light bills behind, my water bills behind. Um, I have to pay my car insurance. My car payment is behind. Mm. <laughs> I had to 
take my daughter to the emergency room yesterday. It was yesterday. And um, they gave me a prescription. Gave her a prescription for um, amoxicillin and some ibuprofen, which, you know, but we don't have health insurance. <laughs> and so she kept saying, oh, well, can I just get the medicine so I can go back to camp? I was like, well, we'll see, you know, whatever. And so then I went to Walgreens to pick it up, but it's actually cheap. It was only like $16. The lady there was really nice, and she gave me a discount card or whatever. But it's like, When you make the decision to step out on faith, if you have a family, you know you're taking everybody out there with you. It's not just you, there are people that are dependent on you. And so I get it, like, I never thought this was gonna be easy. I just didn't think it was gonna be this hard that we were gonna get this low. I didn't imagine that my husband would lose his job. Um. <laughs> when you step out on faith to do this thing that you believe you've been called to do, it's like, especially if you're talking about starting a business or starting a ministry or something like that, you know, when I was working, I was able to put money into whatever it was I was doing because I was getting paid. And then when I felt like, oh, this is the time for me to step out, not because it looked right, but because I just, I really believed that God was calling me to do this, that it was my time to step out. I felt like this is it. Either I'm going to step out on faith or I'm just going to forget it all together. And I had gotten too far to forget it all together. Together, so I stepped out on faith and I'm like oh I'm just trusting believing that things are going to work out and I guess you know just trying to encourage myself the way I encourage others I guess technically things are fine right the lights are on today there's running water today we have food in the fridge today there's gas in the car I still have a car I still have insurance I'm just worried about the things that are to come, the things that are coming up in the next couple of days. Like, if I only have $34. Okay, so I encourage Melina, and so I want to help women of faith to overcome any obstacle and achieve every goal so they can live an abundant life. I'm like fire starter meets lion chaser. And so I kind of have my own personal brand for here a little bit. It's just been like, Courage Melina, I didn't really know where it was going because I thought I didn't want to be put in this box. So there were things like, no, don't say I'm that, I'm not gonna do that because it doesn't really line up with these other things I want to do. Well, one of the things that really helped me to progress was really getting into communities and not just like a community for the sake of being in one, but one that could really help me grow. And so this was basically um, a meeting that we decided to have in this community where we would each stand up and kind of pitch our idea, talk about who we were and where we were going, what we'd like to do. And then for the people who were in the community, right, for the people who were listening at that time, they would help you to strategize. They would pick up the phone and connect you with somebody they knew. We would be pooling our resources and our network and so this is a community that really helped me to refine like who I was and what I wanted to be and which actually opened a lot of doors and introduced me to, you know, more communities and opportunities that I might not have had, um, you know, the chance to get involved with. So it's so important to get in a community. Greatness does not happen in isolation. And if you want to level up, if you want to grow, it, like there's no accelerator um, 
honestly, like getting support and help from other people. And a great way to do that is by joining a community. So I'm standing in this um, Chick-fil-A bathroom right now with Olivia. Come on over here. This video is not live. This is our docu-series, right? And we are in Virginia right now on our way to Philly to a house where they haven't even told us yes we can stay. <laughs> where they, we thought we was going to be staying with them. But then the person who said we was going to stay with them at this person's house. Now listen, I'm not saying that you have to be crazy like me and Olivia getting on the road, not knowing where you're going to stay on a wing and a prayer. But I am saying do whatever you have to do to get there. Instead of making excuses and being okay with the fact that you're not able to get to where you need to go, figure out a way. Maybe you can't take, you know, maybe you can't get the VIP ticket, but you just need to be in the room. Maybe you can't fly, maybe you need to get on the road and drive. Maybe you can't stay in a hotel, maybe you can stay with a friend or a relative. Just whatever it is you have to do because it's getting in those spaces, going to events, retreats, conferences, that's gonna allow you to get in the room with women who are where you aspire to be. And um, it's just, it's something that you have to be willing to do. And as you can see, me and Olivia didn't just do it this one time. We did it as often as we needed to. And it paid off. What's up? I'm looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> hey, y'all over there. Look at these uh, people back there. Kyra, we know that's you. <laughs> You're not hidden, fool. You know, hidden figure. You regular old Kyra. We see you. Hey. Listen, y'all. Now, y'all know how many shows I done did? on the road with Olivia. And y'all know I usually have to do a confessional on her because she mistreats me so bad every time we get on the road. But boy, when I tell you the Lord will answer a prayer, okay, and he will make your enemies your footstool. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has turned it around for me, y'all. So we, we on this road right now. Your girl got snacks. Let me see them snacks. What kind of snacks Olivia got? Snacks on snacks. Now y'all know I need salt and vinegar chips when I'm on the road because it's good for your belly, man. It's talking about that salt, that tang. It's good for your gut. I don't care what they say, okay? And she got Twizzlers. She not trying to give me these Boston babies. She not trying to give me those nasty candies she normally be getting. She normally be getting sweet tarts. Hey, girl, this ain't your show. Get you a show. I sweet tarts, but they ain't have your kind. That she usually get them chewy sweet tarts. She get a lot of gummy bears, gummy type stuff. Like, what is happening? Why we got why like what's what's with the gummy obsession? She usually go to a bad bathroom. She usually go to a bad um, gas station. It be so tiny, look like they stealing your kidney in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Or they take snatching your body. But this time we went to the gas station. It was real rinky dink. And I looked at her, she was like, I'm not going to the bathroom here, we're going to McDonald's. And so we at McDonald's right now where they had like a little bathroom. What? You gotta teach you, you know, you gotta teach people how to treat you. You can't just let people just be mistreating you your whole life. Just because y'all best friends, they just be treating you like trash. But now I'm getting the royal treatment. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Woo! I told you he'd do it. Why did that? Listen, friend, with time, you're just going to get better and better. You're going to look better. You're going to sound better. You're going to have uh, better skills. Just all those things. You just have to be willing to keep pushing and getting in community and getting in spaces where people can help you to grow. And that will happen over time. I want you to never stop growing. Always be intentional about your own personal growth and development, not just as an entrepreneur, but as a woman. And one last thing too, never stop like casting a vision. Right, you'll get to a certain place and it'll be a comfortable space for you to be in, but then you just gotta keep casting a vision, the next vision, 
because your best days are ahead. What's up? Um, it is December 9th of 2021 and I'm sitting on the floor of my sacred space and I am praying over these boxes. There are 25 boxes um, here and um, each box represents a woman who will enroll in courageous discipleship and um, so I said this is the first time I've ever done it like this you know sat and prayed and sang and worshipped here and touching you know and um, then God just gave me a glimpse of what is to come and uh, this is on the hills, hills of watching Pastor Mike Todd of Transformation Church he did a sermon a couple weeks ago on um, crazier faith and um, I said what I said and he had this video footage of things that he said from the stage or whatever you know he kept it and he's encouraging us to do the same and so Today, as I pray over these 25 boxes, five boxes have already gone out and I prayed for them as well. Um, God just gave me a glimpse, you know, as I prayed and I thought, well, this is next level, right? These, I'm declaring by faith that all of these boxes will be shipped out because women have enrolled in courageous discipleship, you know praying over these things by faith that it will happen in this season, right? And um, as my eyes are closed and I'm singing and I'm praying and I'm thanking God for what he's done, he just gives me a glimpse and I see me standing in a room because there's so many boxes I can't really sit. So I see me standing in a room, praying over the boxes. And then <clears throat> there's another one where... Um, standing in a warehouse um, and I don't you know I don't know when that day is going to come but I believe it by faith that when God decides there will be so many women enrolling in courageous discipleship um, that the boxes, first of all, I won't be able to pack the boxes by myself. I packed most of these. My husband helped. Uh, but that the job would be too much, that there would be a team of people packing boxes, packing up the boxes. And that I'll be standing in a warehouse, in a storage facility of some sort, praying over the boxes because women from all over the world, um, hundreds of women, will be thousands of women will be enrolling in courageous discipleship and I believe that so much so in my faith that I decided to document this beginning it's not really the beginning right because there was a time before this I didn't have 30 bucks <laughs> I didn't start with 30 boxes I couldn't believe for 30 um but this is the beginning from this revelation that I believe God it's gonna happen I'm moving forward in faith declaring it by faith working my faith what would I do if I believed doing those things and documenting it because this video is gonna not just bless not just bless me it's not just gonna be a record of where we started and where God is going it is going to be a blessing to somebody like uh, Pastor Mike Todd's video was a blessing to me, right? I'm blessed by seeing the faith that he had before he had the um, success to back it up. You know what I'm saying? I was blessed by that. And so I recorded this video, um, junk in the background, bad lighting, face swole up from crying 
Hope I ain't got no snot on my nose. I was crying, crying. Don't worry, I didn't get on the box. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, but, you know, seeing that video, seeing his videos, his flashbacks, and having the year on them, um, just, it just blessed, it just blessed me. And so I'm recording this video because I believe by faith that we're gonna be standing in a warehouse, in a storage facility, packing boxes because hundreds and thousands of women have signed up for courageous discipleship and um and when we get there then we'll run this tape back so that a person who's watching that person who's watching us on that level will be able to see what god can and will do when we trust him when we believe and when we work towards what we say we believe right so i believe this is what God is called, okay, so what are you doing? What's, what is the work behind that faith, you know? So I pray that this blesses you whenever you see it. Um, all right, love y'all. That was a lot, right? I know, at least I told you there was gonna be crying and I didn't just hit you with the boo-hoo crying stuff, right? And I, you were warned, told you to get your tissue, <laughs> right? Listen, this is what I hope you take away from this. Not that it was so hard that I wouldn't do it again. I would absolutely do it again. And the real honest truth is I wish I had done it sooner because I was waiting for perfection that never came. I was trying to avoid things that were inevitable. Those were the learning, the lessons, the wisdom that comes with the journey. And I was trying to avoid that. You cannot avoid that, friend. But it also delayed me getting here, right? Where I could retire my husband, where we have time, freedom, financial freedom we are building wealth and leaving a legacy of impact like this is legit the life i prayed for it's the reason i quit my job right and so i want to help you i don't just want you to watch this video i want you to book a call with me a strategy call it's 20 minutes when you go to the website be sure that you choose the youtube version right? The YouTube version of the calls. There are several free calls there, but pick the one from YouTube. So I know why you're here. Um, it's going to ask you some questions to really help me prepare for our meeting. And I'm going to get together with you. And together, we're going to create a strategy that's going to help you to move your business, your brand, your whatever, just one or two more steps forward so you can get closer to either quitting or closer to being profitable. All right. I only have a few of those um, appointments available. So don't wait. Go ahead over there and book your session now. Now, listen, don't stay over there too long. Come back because you know that a o is up next as TGIW continues. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you love this, hit the like button and be sure to share and comment. Let me know what was your favorite part of the show or what else you would like to hear me talk to you about. All right, until next week, well, not next week. I just said, I just said, don't go nowhere. We're going over to the A&O show. Thank you for watching. See you in the chat.